Hello. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, hi. This is the first time I've ever done a live stream. So, um, I don't think anyone will probably join this. I'll be shocked if anyone joins this. But I thought I would... I'm back from Italy. I had an amazing time. I'm so, so inspired and just happy with everything. Um, so I wanted to just kind of give back to you guys a little bit each week and meet for an online kind of live stream. I don't have internet at my place, so it takes me a long time to upload a video for you. Like it takes like two days for me to upload a video. Um, so that's why there's been like no videos <laughs> for a long time. And in fact, my Italy vlogs took me like five days, like a week to upload. So, but that was in Italy on their, their Wi-Fi that I had. So anyway, I'm going to just give you a few tips today for some things. Um, I actually next week was thinking of doing some ear training things and some just simple form things. I know that you guys probably have a lot of questions, so I think you'll be able to to ask questions. I'll probably like save um, a few minutes at the end for you guys to ask questions if anyone is there. Looks like there's five of you there. Hi, oh my God, this is so crazy. I'm actually nervous. Like I'm actually nervous. Let me have a sip of coffee. Ooh, it's really hot um, here today and my air conditioning really isn't working. Okay. So I'm going to stop babbling and give you a tip for your bow. So, you know, it all kind of boils down to your form. So if you're playing the violin like this, do you think you're going to sound really good? Probably not. <laughs> so the best way to figure out where your instrument goes is to just, whoops, try not to drop anything. Just raise your arms at your side, right? Just put them forward a little bit. Take your right hand, this one, and flip it over. And you see how there's a curve in your arm. So if you're confused, make a fist and then relax. So that's what your arm will look like, right? So let's just try it again. So you're gonna raise your arms up, put them forward a little bit like you're reaching for something. Take your right hand and flip it over. You want your elbow below your wrist. And it's really important that your wrist is relaxed. This is how your arm looks when it's relaxed. Make a fist if you're not sure. Flex, squeeze, and then let go. So that's what your arm will, will look like, right? And um, why is this like better than this? Well, this you, you don't really have to work as hard. I mean, this one is easier. This one you have to kind of work harder. You have to rotate over and then stay there. So your body doesn't normally walk around like this. You walk like this, you know? So straight forward, your wrist is gonna be straight and that's where your instrument's gonna sit, right? So if you look at what's going on there, I'm like shaking, <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> but um, you see how your bow is naturally pretty much parallel to the string in that way? So let's take a look at my wrist for a minute. So if I put my wrist up like this, now I have to do something in my shoulder to fix that. But I could just bend my wrist and that's so much easier. So um, you really wanna spend some time getting really comfortable with your setup, get a good shoulder rest. I have been using a Kuhn shoulder rest for ages and I just put it on directly across. That's just what works for me, and I like to put it up higher, up closer to the tailpiece, you see? So um, that way it's sitting higher on my shoulder versus falling down this way. But everyone is different. You're gonna have to play around with it a little bit. And then I have the Whitner hypoallergenic chin rest that just kind of, it goes over the tailpiece, and I, I like that. So um, actually, when I was in Italy, Someone recommend, they had a really interesting chin rest. It's called the wave, like a wave. <laughs> and it has a little kind of, it's a little bit taller and it has a little like hump in it. So your, your jaw fits just right in there. So if you're kind of taller, if you have a longer neck, then 
you could um, you know, experiment with that. It's called the wave. Just type in the wave chin rest and, and see what comes up for that. Okay, so provided you have a good setup and you know how your arm is gonna work and everything, this is an exercise to help you with your sound and I've been actually showing everyone this exercise for a couple months and it's really helpful. So we're gonna divide the bow in five sections. One, two, three, four, five. And um, when you're at home, you're gonna do it in front of a mirror so that you can see that your bow stays straight the whole time. So um, it's just gonna look like this. Right, and then you just go back. And as you get more and more comfortable with it, you're gonna do four sections, then three, then two, then the entire bow, which would be one section. And you want each little section, you, if you watch the string, you'll see it vibrate fully and then stop completely. And then vibrate fully and stop completely. So it's gonna sound like pa, 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 not eh, 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 or eh, eh. It's just a very easy pa, pa sound. So, oops. should stand up so that you can see my um, the tip of the the bow here let me just move you like this oh my gosh there's ten of you that's so crazy hi <laughs> so you know when you get to the tip of the bow a lot of times there's some confusion with that so take a look at my wrist if your wrist looks like this when you're at the tip not good right because you don't want to walk around like this or have to play like this, right? This is too weird, this is super weird. So if you were to just move your arm, then you, oh, hi, thank you. <laughs> so you just let your wrist stay in position. So you see how my wrist is above my fingers, right? So you kinda wanna keep that. So let's see, sorry for that squeaky noise. So, it's not like this though, right? If you look at it this way. Do you guys see that? So that, those are some things you're gonna be looking for when you're doing this exercise. Keep your bow straight, keep it in the same spot and just keep an eye on your arm. You really wanna be dropping the bow on the string, so if you're putting the bow like this, take a look at my wrist, do you see? This is, this is dropping the bow on the string. What viola do you play? Oh, I, um, I have a Lucas. It's a JP Lucas viola. Um, I'll tell you more about that in just a little bit. Let me just finish this thought. <laughs> so you're gonna drop the bow on the string from above. This is gonna give you a really nice sound and the string will vibrate really easily versus this, look at my wrist. You see, this is more vertical. It's gonna be a squished sound, right? Dropping. I don't know if you can hear the difference. One of, one of them's just a little bit harder. I'm gonna just try and not fall into my case and die. <laughs> Okay, so you can do it with a metronome. Um, my metronome has disappeared. So let me just go through this exercise so you can see. I'm gonna just do um, a down and an up with five and then with four, three, and then two, and then one. Okay, so you can watch. to play the violin take classes I find your channel is very useful hi from Argentina oh my gosh hi <laughs> hi from Philadelphia so now we're gonna do four <laughs> Good at the tip. And 
that sounds more even, doesn't it? And then one. So it all sounds the same. It's really easy to control the bow that way. If you want to practice your hand patterns with the, with the bow like that, that would be awesome. Just take the basic hand pattern. And it's not a scale, it's just a little pattern. And we do patterns because they're all the same interval. So if you can really nail the intervals, to open one, two, always sounds like do, re, mi, and then da, dum, da, dum, and then do, re. And if you do the string crossing to first finger, another do, re, mi. So every single time you have that, um, and you can just chisel that out, then you'll be able to play in tune really well. So let's take the bow in five sections. I don't know if I can count that much and also play. <laughs> let's do uh, like three sections or four sections. Let's do four sections. So I'm gonna just do the basic hand pattern all the way up. articulation is the same and each finger I'm putting down with the same strength so you might notice that your fourth finger is really weak but your fourth finger needs to behave just like first finger does because otherwise it's gonna sound like strong 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 ah! <laughs> right and we don't want that so as you're practicing try and put your fingers down evenly as well so once you've done that for a while like a while meaning like as long as it takes for you to really nail this, it could take weeks, it could take months, however long, then you can start to do slurs. And you notice that each note has the same kind of sound, so you're not going to get like or kind of thing. It's just all it's all even sounding. So, um, I guess that's my one little tip for you today. We'll, go, we'll meet again soon. I'm gonna try and do these weekly. This is the first time I've ever done a live stream, so <laughs> hopefully it wasn't a disaster. It's just a short little lesson. Um, if there's something that you can take away from this today, it would be, remember we talked about your, your instrument and where your arms sit, so you don't want to do, you don't wanna do this and play like this, because you have to now rotate your whole body this way. You just want to do this, forward, and then like that. And you see how the arm, the elbow, is below the wrist, right? And if you're confused about it, make a fist, and like squeeze, and then let go. And you can, you see the angle that's creating here? Look how my elbow and my hand are kind of lining up. Not that that really means anything. But just the angle of this is so great, it's easier. You already have it all there. And then when you move the bow in five little sections, make sure that your wrist stays comfortable. You never want your wrist to do that. Otherwise you're gonna get, it's just gonna do something weird to the weight as well. But we don't need to play like that. Great tips. Um, oh, I missed what you said. I just saw great tips. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Jocelyn. Okay. Um, and then last little thing with this, I know I'm just re repeating myself, but I know a lot of you just tuned in. You can just do it with a metronome to keep you really honest. And then four, then three, then two, then one. You can also do that with string crossings. When you do a string crossing, I'm gonna have you, I mean, as you progress, you're, this will change, but just fundamentally bring your whole arm with you from here. You see how I'm moving from here? If I move from my wrist, but this is at the same height. You can do that when you become more advanced and you need to go really fast between the strings, but for now we just need to know how to get across the strings really cleanly. Okay, so this was really just tips for your bow. <laughs> um, let me sit down really quickly. I hope you had fun and enjoyed that. 
just so you guys know, if you ever need help with anything, you can contact me through my website. It's violinviolamasterclass.com. Um, I teach so many of you online and it's so fun. It's like amazing to connect with you all over the world. <laughs> and some of my, I mean, I love all my students, but it's so neat to, to be able to, to connect with you from online, you know? It's just, it's really neat. So my website's Violin Viola Masterclass. If you have any questions or if you've been looking for a teacher, would love to meet you and work with you. Um, the other thing is, um, in April, there is a international viola competition on the Isle of Man. It's called the Lionel Turtis International Viola Competition. And um, I may try and compete in it. We'll see if I can like get in it, get in. <laughs> I've just decided that I should probably like get some repertoire together for that. So it's just, it, it probably, I probably won't like be able to, I probably won't like make it into compete, but I will definitely be there to go as like, you know, if I'm not in, I'll be there as a non-participant. And it's only 180 pounds to go. It's about a week long in April. If you just type in the Lionel Turtis International Viola Competition, it's on the Isle of Man. It's every two years or three years, I forget. Um, and it's just gonna be the most amazing opportunity to absorb like the best in, um, you know, viola playing and it'll just be so inspiring even if you don't play the viola even if you just play the violin or if you just love music like it's an incredible opportunity there's going to be like world-renowned faculty and soloists there and if and you'll get to hear the comp competitors um compete against each other so oh wow that's so neat <laughs> That's super cool. Well, you have to come. So anyway, I'll be there in April. I'll tell you when I buy my ticket or when I am just about to buy my ticket because I, I know at least with my students here or that are in my studio, we're gonna, those of them that are interested, we're gonna try and like get a little group of us to, together so we can kind of fly there together and maybe like all be in the same hotel, be in the same area together. So more information will be coming about that. Okay, so um, I'll probably do this again maybe another time this week. I'm definitely gonna try and do it weekly. It may not be on the same day each week. It'll just be kind of a random thing, but that's it for now. Okay, <laughs> have a wonderful day, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I can't believe like 14 of you joined this. That's awesome. Bye, let me just figure out how to turn this off. That's the challenge. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. I have like no idea how to turn this off. Do you guys know how to turn this off? Hmm. This is so funny. No. I don't, know how to, I don't know how to turn it off. Okay. See, I'm like so technologically challenged. Let's see. Do you guys help me? Do you guys know how to turn these off? Do I just like, maybe there's like an X here. Let's try this. Okay, oh, this is gonna work. Okay, bye. <laughs>